Hey everyone, this is Philip here and today is special because I didn't have time to record a snippet like I normally do because I was at a call, at, at a, like a stream with Craig Lebens, who is from the Flutter DevRel team and we had a lot of fun. We actually implemented a 3D engine from scratch in two hours. We didn't get to this point, which is what you see here, uh, but we were very close, we were this close, and then the two hours were out and we couldn't, uh, re we were kind of stumped. So you'll see that in the next, in what's coming. But anyway, I just wanted to start the um, uh, the stream or the stream, the this video with like showing you that yes, actually it's very much possible to use the tools that we we're talking about in that stream and to get to something that's actually 3D and actually works like you'd expect from a 3D engine. So it's all it's all possible. Anyway, I hope you'll have fun and see you next week where hopefully I'll have time to actually make content for this channel. Cheers. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Observable Flutter. My name is Craig Lebens, and I'm excited about today's episode. Uh, I hope you are as well. I'm coming into this with a particular level of ignorance myself, but luckily our guest is, uh, well, he insists that he's not an expert, but he is at least that relative to me. So we'll see what all we get through uh, today. So the quickest of housekeeping, Remember, folks, this is a Flutter community. Uh, we've got a great reputation as this warm, welcoming, friendly community. Uh, we're, I want us all to live up to that today. Remember, we don't need to dunk on other technologies, other packages, you know, whatnot. Uh, we're just here to kind of be excited about Flutter. Okay, so today's guest uh, needs probably not a ton of introduction. Philip was one of the original, uh, actually, I do this all the time. I always try to steal their thunder. Philip, I'm gonna let you introduce yourself. And then if you sell yourself short, then I'll talk more. All right, uh, Philip, I'm so excited to have you here today. Would you please introduce yourself? Thanks for having me, Craig. It's great to see you. And yes, uh, I'll uh, introduce myself as the previous Craig, First of all, <laughs> I was on the Flutter team uh, doing videos, doing boring, you know, shows and stuff like this. So that's uh, that 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 was uh, for a long time. But until two years ago, then I moved back to where I'm now. This is Prague, Czech Republic, and I have been uh, working on some open source stuff. Um, I still do some cool things, I think, for Flutter, like you know. Uh, different uh, game game toolkits and stuff like this. Uh, but my main order of business is making games in Flutter. I have one that I released two years ago uh, that's called Knights of San Francisco with a K. And I also am working on another game uh, right now. So that's that's my spiel. Nice. Uh, yeah, that was pretty good. Um, and that second game behind you, you've got, uh, there's a big poster advertising a little bit. Yeah, giant robot game. Yeah. I've, I've been enjoying your dev updates. Uh, obviously, they're, they're like half dev, half philosophy. And <laughs> yeah. that's, uh, that's a wonderful mix. <laughs> I, it's actually, I have almost no updates <laughs> in the past few <laughs> weeks, you know, because I work on something else. So I'm like, what am I going to talk about now? And I actually, I need a pretty decent amount of uh, like pre, you know, existing things like, you know, philosophy so that people understand why I'm doing the kind of game that I'm doing. So uh, mm, thanks for mm. telling me that you enjoy it. I will... Yeah, no, I, I absolutely do. Um, got a oh, an immediately funny comment uh, in the chat, but can it run crisis in terms of us? Uh, <laughs> for those who maybe don't understand this reference, uh, crisis was just a 
really, really resource intensive game from I don't even know exactly when, like 2010 or something. Yeah. Uh, and it was just the the game that, you know, broke all hardware and people would would say this all the time, like about consoles and, and gaming PCs and whatnot. But can it run crisis? <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. OK, so uh, today, Philip, I didn't consult with you on how to name today's stream, but we had, of course, agreed on the content and whatnot. And so and I was like, shoot, I need to make a thumbnail. Uh, I just came up with faking 3D graphics, which is probably not a good name. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was, I was going to complain about this, actually, because <laughs> <laughs> we, we are not faking anything. This is actual 3D. And uh, it's I'm sorry, I just jumped into your sentence, but the, there no, was like, okay. like, why is this faking? This is not faking. <laughs> this, is, this is actually 3D graphics, yeah. like proper 3D graphics. Yes. Yeah. So let me let me sell you on my line of thinking. And then okay. uh, you can either say, all right, or, you know, still boo. <laughs> uh, obviously, you know, monitor screens are only two dimensions. So in some sense, anything that your brain perceives as 3D graphics is as 3D as anything else, because, right, it's all on a screen. Um, but even though what we are going to do is uh, create perspective, you know, the, the the stream name creating perspective might have been a little ambiguous. We are going to add perspective to a cube and explore the math behind that and whatnot. It's different than like loading in and rendering a blender model or something, which maybe by some definitions is like proper 3D graphics. Right. Uh, so but how? Uh, no, did, you're right. You're right. Actually, uh, on, on my <laughs> Discord server, someone made a funny comment, Gylo Smilo, I just, uh, uh, is, uh, the, the that person said, oh, Craig probably meant that in the far future, we'll have actual 3D graphics, mm. as in like they will be 3D. Uh, and uh, instead, what we're doing is we're projecting 3D onto a t 2d surface and that's true mm -hmm. yes uh, and also yeah we are not going to create a whole render you know 3d engine in two hours i no. expect so so yes uh let, okay i'll i'll allow it you're faking <laughs> all right <laughs> uh okay so uh i guess let's uh let's start let's get into it here so you have added or you have created a little starter project and so all the code that is on my screen now and everything until i start typing which probably won't be for a little bit philip wrote recently and then i'm i'm going to be driving and and philip will coach uh, all of us through our goals today which will become more clear once we better explore what we even have to start. So uh, I presume you recently, you know, this was off of Fresh Flutter Create. And uh, um, I'll narrate a little bit and then just cut in at any point. Actually, let's start with PubSpec. I want to see what packages you added. Yes. I've not even I, uh, looked at. Right. I only added vector math because that's kind okay. of, uh, um, we, we'll I probably think, talk a lot about vector math. I, I'm just going to ask, have you been able to run it? Oh, yeah, I have it running. Oh, OK, yep. good, 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 good. OK, all right. It is. Yes. Uh, and I, I didn't appreciate what I was looking at here until I uh, clicked on a couple more files. And then I was like, oh, I see what we're doing. Uh, so uh, let's take everyone through that. So what we see when we run this as is, is just four dots. And if you, uh, you know, observant viewers at home may notice that this project is called Observable Flutter Cube, not Square. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at just one side of a cube, it turns out. Well, kind of a, a 3D rectangle. I don't think it's a perfect cube here. But uh, you let me slide on my definition of faking 3D graphics. I'll let you slide on the size and shape of this cube <laughs> actually so this is one thing that we'll need to figure out um and that's this is actually a cube uh but <laughs> yes yes uh but uh well we somehow need to figure out how to um 
so, have it look like one? <laughs> <laughs> how do how do you make a cube? No, no, it's uh okay. So normally, you know what? I'll sh shut up actually because when you get to project, uh, mm -hmm. we'll understand more why the cube is not actually looking like a cube. Hopefully, it will in the future. Okay. All right. So we've got kind of standard boilerplate here. We're just our scaffold, blah, blah, blah. And then there's a an interesting widget here, 3D, a view 3D that accepts an object, which is a cube. So first, I'm going to look at what the cube is, and that we'll kind of work backwards, a cube, and then I think the, the thing. So I'm going to click on cube, command click. There we go. All right. So this is ob uh, an instance of an object 3D class. Did you write this? Yes. Class object 3D. Yes. Okay. It's oh, very I can simple. Click that and seen it myself. Yes. All right. So yeah, it, it just has a list of points. Great. And they're in 3D space. So wonderful. And uh, then we look at it here and we can now see, yes, this is in fact a cube because all the sides are of length one. Uh, do, do they call that like a unit cube? You know, there's like the unit circle and whatnot. Yep, is, yep, is this I think so. Unit yeah. cube? Okay. So definitely a cube, even though it didn't look like that on the screen. So there's some shenanigans afoot. And then we go back to the view 3D uh, widget, which was accepting that cube. And that is also your authorship. And if we click into that, it's a custom paint very quickly. Uh, and then we've got our painter probably down below. Here it is. And so let's see here. You're caching a paint object that is just red. There's some other colors. Some are yeah, coming I'm, out. I was, okay. I was just going to, uh, at first it was just all red or blue or whatever. Uh, but then mm. I realized, oh, it's probably going to not be great when we try to mm -hmm. figure out like what what the different Which point is where yeah points yes so it's just going to like iterate through these three colors got it got it okay so we're not actually uh uncommenting these is not part of our journey today oh yeah oh that that was another thing yeah so i just stole this palette from a, a website that where i go when i want to steal mm. palettes and okay. uh, they had this amazing palette and then i realized part of it is too dark so i just selected the colors that look the best gotcha but yeah, gotcha yeah okay. you, you can delete them if you want to uh all right um well I, they're they're not weighing me down uh okay. too badly uh right. looking over at question here or at chat we do have one pretty interesting question that randall just asked uh looks like we're defining the vertices but not the edges what is our implied ordering yes uh there is zero ordering uh we are going to focus because we have two hours i thought that we would just like focus on uh, rendering points which mm is pretty i think after we figure out how to actually see where the points go then afterwards we can go oh okay so there's like an edge or a triangle between these three points and then mm -hmm. you can just fill it uh so so we're not going to do that i think today uh or ever but um uh, but uh, yeah we're, we're just going to wor work with points so far yeah, could be a, a homework yeah. assignment for the reader. Yeah, it's so as, as I was asking. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Good, perfect, uh, Randall. I was actually thinking about like procedurally generating a cube, not a cube, but like a sphere of points, which would like look nicer. But I think we'll start with the cube because it's um, just nice. Like, I mean, it's easier. It's just yeah. eight points. Yeah. Um, yep. Uh, okay, so it just had a little funny mental moment when you said it was eight points, and I was thinking, wait, I was expecting nine, and then I just <laughs> yeah. pictured like a dice in my head, and I'm like, oh yeah, no, there's only eight. <laughs> no, I was uh, also I I said eight, and then I was like, am I being stupid? Is is it really eight? <laughs> it turns out it's yeah, it is eight. Yeah. Uh, here's four, and four more above. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, of course, uh, uh, a rec or. Uh, a cube is in some senses two two D squares with On some of each other. Z yeah. axis, yeah, between them. Yeah. Um, and then you'd only get to eight points with that. I don't know why we both thought that there <laughs> yeah. might be nine. Seems like there's there's gonna be more, but no, no. Right. Uh, okay, so 
that is everything. And then there's this uh, project, uh, not to be confused with project, English, quite a fun language, uh, project, where you've got a function here that is going to turn a vector three into a vector two and project it onto the 2D plane. I'm assuming uh, there's some your code here that's going to happen. Oh, I appear to have uh, oh, clicked, yeah. double clicked on this just in a way to <laughs> ask macOS to look it up. Um, nice. This this uh, function must be incomplete, I'm guessing. Correct. That's what we're we working on. I hope. Um, I think that well, right now it just uh, discards the z coordinate yeah. and just returns x and y. Yeah. So speaking of that, the z coordinate. I'm guessing is like into the monitor, right? It's like into this world. And uh, X is the typical left, right. Uh, y yeah. is the typical top down. And yeah, Z is going to be depth into yeah. this universe. So this is, this is a, a, you know, point of contention. If you look at basically any game engine, they all have it differently. So like in some oh. Z is depth, in others Z is up. Then like why is it going there or there? You know, it's just like yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. It's, so I'm I'm pretty sure this is yet another way to do it. I think Z is normally up, uh, so we would probably uh, do something like what uh, Y equals point dot Z is probably the would be the normal mm. uh, way and what but who cares? It's, it's right, right. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a cube. It it doesn't matter what which point we're looking at. And the other thing that I wanted to talk about or to to cover is why is the square not a square on the screen? And that's mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. project returns. Um, it, it returns if you go back to view two D and the custom painter there. Um, I uh, three D or two D. Uh, 3D, uh, okay. yes, and uh, yeah, go down, go down, and oh, even I more am. down. Yeah, the, the, see that line 47 and up. Uh, it says remaps coordinates from minus one to one to zero to viewport, and oh. so this is like a piece of magic code that you'll also find in all game development. Uh, I mean, game uh, rendering engines, where yes, so uh, where the project um, or the projection right. will give you back minus one to one for X and minus one to one for Y. And then it's your job to just basically say, well, my, my X is this big and mm -hmm. my Y is this big. And, and uh, so you convert it with this simple math to to normal coordinates. So that's why, yeah, if you exactly, if you, if you put it into a square-ish uh, window, it will actually look like a square. Right. right. No, gosh, that yes. makes sense. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we can, I can either give you, uh, I can be a kind host and be like, nice, your square is a square. I'm like, oh, now it's broken this way. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, we've answered this already, but I think it is worth revisiting. Folks will continue to kind of trickle in. Uh, why, what do you mean faking? Why are we faking 3D graphics? So, the quick answer there is just uh, we're not actually rendering like a blender model or a thing that is absolutely 100 percent. No, no other way to look at it. 3D. We're going to add some perspective. Uh, we're going to project 3D points onto our 2D screen and create perspective. So a thing will will look 3D uh, and it will be 3D, but it isn't like a 3D model. It isn't 3D graphics in the way that you might think. So that's all I meant by that. So maybe there's that's a I don't know I don't know but but probably a good point to make is that Flutter is not meant to be a 3D engine and mm -hmm. uh, and so for example like 3D like the the reason I'm familiar with 3D is that my game is has some 3D objects in it but if I were to make an actual 3D game that has all everything in 3D, then I would mm -hmm. not probably use Flutter. Use Flutter you know, mm -hmm. so so like for some very uh, I think interesting use cases, Flutter and Dart are fast enough to just make a 3D engine and and use 3D. Uh, but please don't use Flutter to you know recreate like. Uh, 
unreal or anything like this because it's not going to be a fun experience and uh, you're not going to go too far i think yeah um one of the goal i i think i, I think everything you just said is uh totally true totally correct in my understanding of the universe my prediction is that in a few years that may change, but it will be largely community driven. I don't think the Flutter team is ever going to be behind changing that. But with Impeller, it is possible that the correct levers will be exposed such that adventurous graphics programmers in the Flutter community will be able to uh, write some pretty advanced stuff. And then we might all build on top of that. But this is this is in the future yeah. distinctly. But also, I, I want to say, it's like, even with something like Impeller, you are probably using uh, like C++ code. You, do, you don't know it, but but like Impeller mm. is probably mostly built with C++. I don't actually know, but I'm, I'm assuming. Any, any bigger 3D engine will be built with C++, or you'll be at least touching C++ in some way or another. Uh, so uh, in the future, there's definitely a possibility that Flutter will have 3D capabilities, but uh, you're probably not going to build them from scratch. Today, we're building them from scratch because I think it's interesting because I think it could be... Actually, if I may, I want to present my game just so that people know okay. like what I'm talking about. Uh, screen one and... See, so so like this is the kind of 3D that I am interested in. You know, I'm trying mm -hmm. to make things that are um, that are uh, kind of 1970s style 3D, and for that, it's it's amazing. Like I can I can do all this, and uh, I can also do things that I wouldn't probably normally be able to do if I was. Um, I want to show you some something else than than just this, but but like uh, notice how if I click the 3D thing, kind of renders from top to down. You see that? Hopefully, this mm, is yep, actually yep, yep. this is actually pretty hard to do in. Or I don't know how I would do it in a normal 3D engine because you don't have that kind that level of control over which triangles you render mm. but because i am building my own 3d engine or building i've it's done um it's it's easy for me to do things like this that are kind of like yeah retro you know so anyway so that that i i just wanted to, to show people like yes there are there are uh, ways and this runs really smooth this is fine but again if i wanted the game to be completely 3d then it's it's a different story and I'm not using Flutter for that. Cool. Yeah. 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 Uh, Philip, you got to hurry up, man. Your mission time is ticking down. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> Come on. Look alive. Yeah. See, that, that, it's yeah. It, it, it pretty, pretty cool effects. Um, and yeah, that, that uh, really well summarized. That's the goal that we're, striving for here is understanding obviously we're not going to replicate philip's game uh but like understanding how you would begin to build something like this what are just what knowledge do you need to have what techniques um and we're gonna you know, we'll have the hello world of this at the end of the stream but uh this is kind of the space that we're in you know as opposed to making the next uh you know Call of Duty or something. Yep, yep, yep. You, you can. Uh, I, I was just gonna like you know, but but you can remove me from the. I mean my my game from the stream. Yep, cool, cool, cool. All right. Okay. Uh, so let's talk through this paint method because this looks like the most interesting. You know, we already did somewhat here when we we're talking about this remap block, but I think mm -hmm. this is probably the most interesting code so far. And then, as we mentioned, we're going to doctor up this uh, project method. And I've never appreciated the difference between project and project, and that they're only differentiated by the emphasis in English. Um, I'm going to try to to keep getting it right but even my native speaker brain is taxed by this so 
Philip, you and every other non-native English speaker uh, who runs your professional life in English, you just have my respect. Because um, <laughs> it can't be easy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, well, well, uh, some some new Dart three goodness here. <laughs> yeah. So we've got you're looping through the objects and the points and points was oh in the in the class right yeah that's yes just the list of them yes and indexed is this a thing where is this coming from oh this is in flutter i've not used this how new is this is this in flutter really no oh since, oh. since 3.0 wow yeah. well no it says lib collection so it might not be from flutter yeah I yeah it's a collection yes so there. this is normal dart and it is uh just if you if if you're too lazy to do a for loop with uh, var i equals zero to something and then you know you can just do uh uh this dot indexed and it will uh, give you a record that has the index and the thing together, which is what I wanted here, because I I want the index to select the color and, of course, the point to actually see where the point is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've um, I've had written extension methods that did this before, so I was just really curious about where this came from. And I commented out Flutter Material to see if that's, you know, if it was going to be underlined, if that's where you were getting it from. But no, it really is just standard library, essentially. Yeah. Um, hmm. Great. I've learned something already. <laughs> OK, so uh, the circles have a size. Uh -huh. I wonder if this is going to change as they get further away. Interesting. Uh, I don't think we're, I mean, we could, but uh, yeah. It'll be a could. stretch goal. Yeah, stretch goal. OK, uh, and then we project the 3D point onto the screen mm -hmm. and grab, get the correct color for it and yep. then update the paint object to use the correct color. And then, as we already talked about, you map it to the uh, you know, to the aspect ratio of the screen and draw it. Yep. All right. Anything else before we start typing? I think that's it. All so right. actually, yeah, I, l let me actually kind of uh sell you linear al algebra right now because i hmm. i felt uh, uh we're going to in in the end this is going to be a pretty simple hopefully pretty simple linear algebra thing and vector math the package that uh we are already importing already has uh classes for vector uh but also for matrix and it has classes even for projection and for multiplication, you can multiply matrices to with vectors and so on and so forth. So it's all uh, pretty, like, hopefully there's not going to be too, too much code, but we'll see. Uh, of course, the devil is in the details. The thing is that the kind of the, the story here is that when I was a young boy, whippersnapper. Or like, yeah, the young whippersnapper is the correct uh, thank you um, word. Uh, I wanted to be a game developer, and uh, for a, for a while, and so I started building games by myself. This was the '90s, so this was before like YouTube and you know Stack Overflow and and even Google, maybe I don't know. But anyway, I was I was young. Yeah, things were different, and <laughs> and I remember. To this day, that I had this problem, I didn't do 3D math, but I do. Uh, but I tried to do 2D math with, like, I needed to rotate something, right, in my game. I don't remember mm. what it was. It could be like you know a spaceship or mm -hmm. a ball. Yep. I don't know. But I, uh, I, I kind of had to figure it out myself, and so so I just like had graph paper, and then I would be like, oh, this point, and then I want to. Uh, you know, move it by 30 degrees to the left around this, you know, rotate and so on and so forth. And then I did like, oh, I know what sine and cosine is. So mm -hmm. I tried to figure it out and then I failed. I was just, I, I just couldn't do it. I, 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 I figured it out for like going from right to left. And mm -hmm. then I was like, oh, great. And then I tried it on the other side and just like Doesn't stopped work. working. It's just, yep. just like, and I just quit because back then really there was no like i couldn't just go like give you up no to so, yeah, yeah there was no one to ask so i just gave up so so just like to give you the kind of the idea of like just think about it like you have a point there's another point 
And then like, how do you do it that that point goes there? It's going to have some sign and like some trigonometry inside this, right? But it's mm -hmm. not uh, immediately obvious. And then much later, I mean, not actually much later, uh, in university, I learned about linear algebra and about the fact that you can have a, like a bunch of like, like something like um, a rotation can be expressed with just one matrix, which is just a bunch of numbers and that's it, right? And then mm -hmm. you just apply it, like you, you multiply the vector with this one piece of numbers, I mean, bag of numbers, and that's it. That, like, and it always works. And it's just it was just infuriating <laughs> that it's it's so simple in the end. Uh, but of course you have to get there and 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 so mm -hmm. on and so forth. So actually, I may present again um, from my computer. So this is linear algebra. I didn't. I just wanted to show you if you if I tell you linear algebra and you see something like this. If you're like me, you're probably going to be a little intimidated, you know. But in in fact. All that um, linear algebra is, it, I'm going to simplify a lot, okay? So if there's mathematicians or people who actually know linear algebra, they're going to scream into their, <laughs> into their like, pillows. <laughs> uh, but, but basically, vectors, so, so linear algebra is like when you have a bunch of numbers and you, you combine them, okay? Um, and uh, so you have vectors, which, are, which is something like this. And that's just basically points, for example, in 3D space, uh, it's uh, or 2D space or 16D space. You you don't care. And then there is there are, there are these matrices, uh, which are also like bags of numbers. It they are somehow you know uh, they uh, they are sorted in some way, but what it really is is just numbers in rows and columns. That's it. And then you have ways to combine these things together, and um, like for example, multiplying. And th that's just like oh, you take you know for example, multiplying this and this would be like take this number and multiply it with this number and then take i think this number and multiply it with, I, I don't remember but it's it's just you know linear algebra anyway and then uh by itself it seems just overly complicated way to uh, put some multiplication and addition together but then then you have things like the transformation matrix which is what we're going to do today and which also, by the way, you will find in Flutter itself, vanilla Flutter. We'll get to that. But transformation matrix is this is again just a matrix, right? Like this one, just a bunch of numbers, or this one more generally. And it that this thing, if you take a vector, which is just a point, and you multiply it with a transformation matrix, so just a special sp special bunch of numbers, you will get different effects. So for example, here is how you do stretching. Uh, so if like zooming basically, right? So you mm -hmm. have a 2D point and you multiply it with this matrix and then you get the point is now bigger, right? So that, that's what transformation matrices do. And the cool thing about this, another cool thing about this, is that you can combine transformation matrices together just by multiplying them. So you have a stretching, stretching uh, transformation matrix, and I don't know, rotation transformation matrix. By the way, this is what, what I quit about. Okay. This is this is the, the thing that, that took me a day of my That's life. What broke you. <laughs> yes, yes. And <laughs> and see how it's easy. Anyway, so 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 if you combine this guy with this guy, you suddenly have a stretching rotation matrix. Mm. And this is where we go to something like uh, flutter uh, where if you do you probably know the 
or should I put it, uh, transform widget, right? Yep. yep. And you have things like, oh, transform, rotate, and blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. Well, guess what? It's I'm not all... I'm make this guess. Ah, uh, this is all a, just matrix for... <laughs> isn't it crazy? <laughs> transform, uh, whatever you do with transformation uh, is actually is going to be... Uh, uh, I thought there is a matrix part of it or is it just this one yeah do you pass in yeah because the, the oh, transform yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. In, yes yeah. yes 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 okay so so but nobody uses this because then you have to know the matrix yourself <laughs> yes exactly yes but but the, the cool thing is that that really like flutter is just uh whenever you do transform rotate transform scale or, or anything like this it will just take this transformation matrix uh and or it will generate it for you and then it will apply it. And if you, so it's very fast. It's also like if you have, you want to skew something and then you want to also mm. rotate it, you can also do this. And this is also oh, yeah, why, for example, it. it's possible for you to do like, you know, star, the Star Wars scroll that like goes like this, mm. you know, mm -hmm. and it's like in perspective. This is, yep. if you know how, what you're doing, you can do it with Transform Matrix 4 because, again, it's just another transformation matrix that you just ha have to know how to do it, you know. Um. And that's what we're going to do today is basically just getting uh, two A transformation matrix and just multiplying all the points with that transformation matrix. And voila, we have a... Uh, rendering engine beginnings of a rendering engine dang what a what a primer uh, uh <laughs> my my history with linear algebra is one of just i think the same frustration that you had like i took a linear algebra class in college and i hope he never watches this stream the professor because i think it was the worst professor i ever had in my life and i would just really soured on the topic and you know, linear algebra, all the operations felt like, you know, take a, if it was cooking, it would be like, you know, take a cucumber, juggle two eggs, look out the window, and now you have a pie. And it was just like, yeah. how does, how did this work? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. uh, and I understood nothing that was going on underneath yeah. those operations. You know, it's like, I can remember this by this, by this, by this, by this, but I don't understand any of it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Same here, by the way. I, I went to university. We did the linear algebra. And I was just like, I, I remember I was pretty good at like the computation part when I knew where to actually go and like how to do this. But then, but I nobody told me that this is so cool. <laughs> like if someone mm -hmm. told me, hey, and by the way, you can just do like rotations with this. And this is how easy it is. Then I mm -hmm. think I would, no, like I would be more motivated to actually like l look at it mm. more than just like, oh, mm -hmm. it's another math thing that you have to do. Yeah. But yeah, it's very useful and it's going to be the basis of our uh, work today. Uh, my screen share went away. I would think it's just, it's just times out. Uh, I'll have to share my screen again here. Um, <laughs> clicking around. I am clicking. There we go. <laughs> uh, all right. And this is all <clears throat> going to happen, excuse me, in the project method. Yes. Yes. All right. Now, I'm wondering if we're going to also add some parameters. Obviously, we're going to have to add some parameter unless we hard code the transformation matrix in here, but then this can only project it in one way. Yes, correct. And yes, very good. Yes, and I think for now we'll just hard code it, and then okay. we can always give it as a as an argument. Okay, I love it. Um, is it time for us to type? Yep, it's time. I'm afraid <laughs> we've tried to oh. dodge it for long enough. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, any other philosophy we can cover here? Uh, <laughs> you know, the biography of the people that discovered linear algebra, you know, no, <laughs> what no. their hobbies were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's time. Okay. okay. Um, so I'm typing, but you have to tell me what to type. So I don't know which of us is more uh, hosed here. How do, how do we get started? When, when did I change? All right. In so file? I oh. am pretty sure that um yeah uh just start typing make view matrix like okay yeah yep 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 see Wonderful. this is this is just to me this is crazy so like <laughs> this is coming from uh position. vector math and it just takes three vectors uh one is the camera position uh second is the focus or like the target. So we already know where the uh, target is, I think. Uh, is that the center with, of the cube? Maybe. Yeah, I think so. And then up direction, we we just decided, I think we decided on Y is up. I'm not sure. Okay. But that, that's going to be a vector. Anyway, let's let's go back to, to the code. Um, and camera position, let's, let's just put it, this will be a vector three, yes. And it will be probably some some space away from where where the the, the cube starts at zero zero zero. Uh, and it doesn't matter where we put the camera because yeah, because uh, we're going to look at the cube. So So know. why are we here and not like here? How did we already get this far in? How did this happen? Oh yeah, I have a padding of sixty-four pixels, I think. This oh, is a lot okay. Of pixels. No, no, no. Okay, so so the yellow one. Ah, this is why we have colors. The yellow one is at zero zero zero, and oh. no, 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 not this one. The the one in the oh, center. Yes. So we are currently just uh, we have it set up because in the end, hopefully, all the different transformations will give us an actual like you know minus one to one, but with the, all the things mm -hmm. that we need to, to, mm. to have there. And yeah. so, so this is yes. the origin. Makes sense. This is the origin. Either this is the origin or the one after it is the origin, right? So I mean the 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 one beneath. The yellow one in the center you know mm -hmm. what i mean uh because Wait. all of these th four red points are actually two mm -hmm. points on top of each other yep 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 yep, uh, yep. So, yep. anyway i don't i don't actually know which one is which uh but we'll we'll Got have it. to well we're about we'll to find out once we have perspective yeah yep. yes okay so how to think about and i think this is what you were just saying this vector three the camera position so yes. i'm gonna i'm gonna use my hand here to try to uh illustrate perspective as we're going to visualize it for everyone and so there's a flat i'm going to cover my face i don't know that's what everyone wants um <laughs> we've got a flat screen that is the the ui that's the actual monitor and then the camera is going to what i think you're saying philip is that we're going to define a space above the screen that is where the math will compute our camera perspective from is that correct i think that is correct yes okay so we can should we what, what makes sense like should we say the origin in terms of x y but uh in the depth perspective toward us or do you like a different point even yeah. Frank, I have no idea. I, I really, I literally have no <laughs> idea where, where to put the camera, and I'm sorry, but uh, that's okay. Well, I, I yeah, uh, but I think what uh, what is the saving grace for us? Yeah, exactly. I would go farther away with the camera, so like ten. Let's do that or five. Okay, okay. Um, then we have the camera focus position, and that should be I think zero zero zero. Or if you want to be fancy. 0.5.5.5 for like the center of the cube. Yep. Oh, fancy. Okay. And the up direction uh, would be probably 0, 1, 0 with y is up. But again, that should, mm. yeah. Uh, so, so it okay. needs to know like how the camera is rotated. Right? Yeah. So, 
So you have. So the- I want to go. I want to go back to the code <clears throat> and really drive home what all these values mean. So obviously this is X, Y is the second one, and Z is the third. I'm, I'm just going to have the most elementary approach to this ever because I'm so. Uh, so bad at all of this. So X is the first parameter, Y and Z, of course. So X is definitely left and right. Y is definitely up and down. And is Z uh, Z is going to be depth for us? Am I correct on that? Uh, might be. Yes. Yes. I, I'm there, also... Uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. There was also the camera up perspective. And I'm wondering... Does this actually, does what we put here define these values? Like if we said, oh no, up isn't uh, the Y, up is actually X, is that going to like rotate all of our stuff 90 degrees? Yes. I guess we can test it and find out. <laughs> yes, we'll, we'll definitely do testing, but but I think yes, it's it's basically, so like if you want to define a point in space, and it's a rotation in all three, uh, you know, rotation mm-hmm. th- things. I think one way to do it is to say where it is, mm-hmm. where it is looking at, assuming, of course, it's not the same point. Uh, yeah. And, and then is the camera in this sentence, right? Yes. Yes. So and where then it is. That's this where it's looking. Yes. And then the the last one, we you still need to, even if you have two points in space, you don't know how the camera is like this, right? Is it mm. is it looking down or 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 you know like how mm. how the, the yaw of the camera, I guess. So so uh for that we need to to tell it where it's where it's um, oh, could we conf- could we maybe you know misconfigure this in such a way that we point the camera in the other direction and don't see anything? Is that possible? I think, so. I think oh. that's possible. I want to do that we'll at some s- point. <laughs> okay. Yes. So anyway, you you want to uh, you you made the matrix. You want to put it into a var- variable, uh, which would be the I guess view matrix. Thank you. Yes. And then this is the cool part uh, where. This is kind of the look at matrix, um, and you just do. Uh, we we don't have the projection matrix yet, but but we'll we'll see if we can do it without it, right? Uh, so you have this transform, and then the mm-hmm. vector, the the three D vector, uh, mm-hmm. has a method on it uh, called dot apply matrix four. That's it. So if you ah. if you just do point dot apply matrix four, okay, and do the view matrix. And is our view matrix that is a matrix four? Yep, that's what it, it returns. Is, yes. we're, yeah, we're all yes. All these things are matrix four. Uh, for I I can't explain it. I don't know enough about this. But if you want to do three D things, matrix four is. So the four you need the four by four matrix. So, that's so do we do we this essentially? Oh uh, yeah. So one. I think apply. Oh, is it? Uh, I'm not sure it, if it, it modifies you back. It uh, modifies. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Everything's then, void. Yes. And so then we. So the the code that was here before needs to be after what we just added. I'm presuming, and then we. Yes. And then we do this. Yes. All right. So <laughs> halt restart. I think we need to halt restart because for some reason. Uh, Oh, yep. What were you expecting? <laughs> I do know. I don't know. I was expecting to not show anything, but this is better than what I oh. was expecting. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, so that's the view matrix. Now, uh, I think we also need to create another, uh, and that one is the projection matrix. So, uh, okay. and here, this is where. I I can't really pretend anymore that I understand like the <laughs> the uh, uh like why you need all of this, right? So so yeah. but but in 3D rendering engines you have the kind of the object matrix which allows you to do things like rotate the object, 
right? Mm. Then you have the look at matrix, which is like where you're looking at from, I guess. And then okay. there's the projection matrix, which gives you a uh, like uh, just projection. Uh, like like where, where, where do you where do you put it? I I don't know. Uh, anyway, for that we have we can't use the view make view matrix. We need to do uh, do a final uh, projection matrix. Yep, equals and. Now we use make frustum frustum matrix. Of course. Yes. All right. Obviously, it was going. It was always going to be that. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right. So, so frustum, if I, yes, frustum, in, if I understand it correctly, is basically kind of the uh, if you look at something through a screen, right? Frustum is the is the 3D object that goes from the like this to there. It's like mm -hmm. it's like the I don't know how to call this. It's it's not a like it's not a pyramid, but it's a pyramid without this With the top part, cut off. You know? Yeah. Yep. Yes. 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 Uh, so I think that's that's what we we need. Uh, but yeah, uh, hopefully we'll know more if you read the. The API. Docs yeah, so there. I was just skimming. Yeah, it says left and right specify the coordinates for the left and right vertical clipping planes. All right, so that's and I'm, that's this right, yeah. and this. Yep. Yep. And they're just doubles. So how do we represent that whole plane as just a double? Do you know what that? How, how does that work? Mm -hmm. uh, that's a good question. So. But I, I totally had the same um, opinion or, or same thought. And then bottom top, specify the coordinates. So same thing, but rotate your hands 90 degrees. And then near and far, specify the coordinates for the near and far clipping plane. So this would be the bottom of the pyramid and where and, and the where the slice is on the top that prevents it coming right. to a single right. point. Right. So uh, uh, yes. So we basically, um, you know what? I'm going to cheat here. And if Great. you look into uh, the private chat that nobody else sees, you can Ooh. just copy paste. <laughs> uh, you can copy paste wh what I just stole from Flutter Cube, by the way, which is the Flutter underscore cube is a pop package that you can use for these things. And uh, that has the not all of it, not all, not everything that we need, but some of it. And okay. I think it it will help us explain what all this is, right? So you don't, I don't think you need math uh, with a prefix because we already. Oh, we don't have math there. Okay, I'll just add. Uh, it. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. All right. So uh, then we. Uh, the so near yeah. one uh, is just uh, put something like 0 0.1 there. Like, you know, yes, yes, exactly. Yes. Uh, FOV is the field of view, right? So mm. that, that would be something like 60. Uh, so 60 what? What does that mean? Uh, that's, I hope that's 60 degrees. But that's weird because we're oh yeah we're actually converting into radians uh, later so that's sixty uh, okay. degrees of so field of view is like like for example humans have I don't know ninety degrees or something like this of field of view but like you have eagles who have a much more focused field mm. of view and then you have guinea pigs who have field of view like this uh, where uh, it's. Uh, all yeah. around them, right? So 60 is, I guess, a, a, just one possibility. One, um, yeah, one possible. Okay, okay. Right, right. Zoom can be zero, one point zero. Just like let's not uh, okay. do anything with that. And then aspect ratio for now, just do one, uh, one point zero. And we'll, I, I'm pretty sure we'll find the aspect ratio from the size of the screen later, or screen of the of the custom painter. So I think now we have everything, right? Oh, we're far. just missing far. Far. Yeah. Let's just put like a thousand there, or you know. Got it. So 
So now we have the first room. Uh, we have that that object in space, and that and now, if I if I remember correctly, I guess uh, we just need to create a new transformation matrix. So another one, final transformation matrix. That's the or yeah, yeah, and that is basically just if you do. The which one was the first one? The V the matrix. Or, yes. Or actually, projection matrix times. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Just, just use the oh, ones the that we just made. Yes, yes. So, so the view matrix times, times the, the projection projection yes, matrix. Yes, I think the order actually matters, and I think it's the opposite way. But let's see what what this gives us. So view matrix times. That's not what I yes. wanted to do. <laughs> View matrix, and now well, now this is our only transformation matrix. Yes, exactly. And now use that instead of that. And now let's see what it does for us. Ooh, the arcane, the alchemy is getting uh, hot already. <laughs> <laughs> now um, I'm very curious what what you're gonna. Oh man! All right. Hard to know if this is what we expected or not. <laughs> it's not. I thought that now we'd have a some kind of a perspective both of like there. the far side in the middle, right? Yeah. So if we have our near for the the close four dots and then the far four dots, you know, we want. I'll do this from the camera's perspective. We've got the close four points, and then what we're looking for, I think, is the far four points to all be uh, projected inside. Is that yes? Yes, that's what you're expecting. Okay. Uh, mm, so okay, uh, time to just wiggle the numbers. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> so no, not these ones. I think these are fine. Uh, but uh, what I that meant also is nothing. Yeah, that changed nothing, which is weird. wait. No, it didn't no. change anything. Oh, it just okay. took a long time. And that makes, I don't know why it uh, took a long time, but that makes a lot of sense that now mm -hmm. you are, like, if you change the field of view, it should be smaller, right? Like, if you yep. make the field of view mm -hmm. bigger, the things that makes be sense. smaller. That we so see that, more of the world. Yes, yes, yes. So let, let, this part, I think, oh. Ooh. This collapsed into a singularity. Wow, interesting. Yeah, oh. I think so. I yeah. guess, yeah, that's like the speed of light. You can't exceed 180 <laughs> degree field of view. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what any of this means, but I, I think, yeah, 60 <laughs> is fine. Uh, and let's do, uh, yeah, it needs to be a double. Let's uh, actually wiggle the other numbers, the ones mm. that are in the projection matrix i think or... oh these ones the view matrix. yeah oh make view matrix all right so what happens if you change the up vector to something like mm. 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 or yeah like you know i want to i want to see if we rotate the view of the camera mm. and we didn't I well, I haven't done it yet because I want to propose oh. that we start making predictions about what our code changes will do. <laughs> All right, and some kind of rotation. I mean, I'll, I'm just running on your explanation here, but what I'm hearing is, you know, up for the camera. If the camera is now facing a different way, yeah, on our screen, everything should change. So I agree with your prediction this time. All right, let's see. We've also changed. It's not a very fast restart here. Uh, things really moved. I don't know why it's being so slow. That's kind of weird. Uh, I had also changed the field of view back. So that's why the points expanded as they did. Right. But they're now kind of off the screen. What, which is fine. I mean, I think you can change the field of view to let something like 90 or, or 70 so that we always have the thing in inside mm -hmm. uh but this actually makes a lot of sense right because we moved the up to mm -hmm. 45 degrees so if you if you do something uh like um 
I'm thinking we give a non 0.5 value for this and then things All should right. be wonky. Yeah, it, that sh they definitely should. The hot restart's a little cold this morning. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. Okay, it didn't wow. do anything. Oh, yeah, no, Did I it? guess that just changed nothing. Really, though? Yep. I guess wow. uh, it makes, I mean, I don't well, know. Well, this, this we said depth. So does changing the in and outness of what's up matter? I mean, you'd think it would. Otherwise, this would be a vector two. Huh. Yeah. And the, the thing is, like, if you if you imagine if you have a camera like this mm -hmm. and then you're like, uh, where where is the up for the camera? And mm -hmm. then what you did to right now, I think you you said the app is not here, but it's here, which doesn't change anything about the camera's position, I think, because you are still looking at Mm. At, at that cube. So looking in that because that all came from this code. Yeah. Is that right? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. But <laughs> uh but I think like since the camera is in the Z direction, uh changing the up position, like the, the Z direction of the up to position is not going to change the the view of the camera. But you know what? I'll, I think let's just put it uh, put up uh, to like either one zero zero or zero one zero, anything but zero zero one. Uh, I think it's probably good for it to be a yes zero one zero to be a, a unit vector, and I think this this should kind of you know th this should work. I'm not sure why we see this though. And so mm. I wonder, um, what does, if you scroll to the bottom of this function, uh, what if we are using the wrong X, Y? What if the transformation matrix oh. actually, like, can you try e, Y? Z here, right? Yes, yes. I'm not sure. I'm just, you know. They're gone. They're gone. They don't love us anymore. This this was faster for some reason. Uh, okay, so, it's been really inconsistent. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so in that in this case, I think we were right with point point point. But why is probably why? Huh. All right. So and the reason we tried that, by the way, is you were explaining this to me. I think it was before the stream started, but maybe you already explained it to everyone. Uh, different different game engines, different 3D rendering engines disagree on what X, Y, and Z even mean. And so you were right. wondering if we had uh, a mismatch there, but that didn't fix anything. Right. Or if it did, then we've got something else broken. <laughs> right. Uh, so we have projection times view, right? And not the other way around. Uh, we do have projection times view. Yes. All right. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm just looking at, okay. So the change that you just made. Now, one thing I was talking about was like pointing the camera in the wrong direction. I I'd love to better understand what this means or no, is this the wrong? What is the third one? Oh yeah. Up direction. I guess I don't know what up direction even means given that we're positioning the camera with the first two values and all of this stuff was supposed to be like the cone of, you know, this is almost like the field of view. I mean, we literally have field of view up here. Right. And, and then we changed, you know, some of the up values here changed nothing. I'm definitely not understanding this parameter in terms of, you know, what if if you have a camera and you have some stuff in front of it, like what what are we doing with this parameter? <clears throat> I don't know. Right. Well, we're we're just saying uh, if I have a camera like this, mm -hmm. and and like. It's in position, let's say this is minus 10, 0, 0 or something. And I'm looking at you at 
at you, all right? Mm -hmm. uh, then the two points themselves don't say anything, but but then you need some kind of thing to say from here, mm -hmm. the vector, where is the vector to the cameras up? So is if it's like this, then I'm looking at you like this. If it's uh... like this, it's going to be like this right okay 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 so we can actually so th this is this is why when we change it to 0 0.0.0 0, then we did this basically with the camera or maybe we did this i don't know but but we we did you know oh, is, is having a zero vector there almost undefined yeah i'm pretty sure it yeah it would be not good we can try it it's okay. not that uh did we know. ever put zero there no they're back to just one point. So yeah, okay. something <laughs> right. Okay, well, we don't know if they're one point. They yeah. could be stacked on top of each other or seven. Yeah, of they them could be some awesome. some somewhere else. Yes, exactly. So just yeah, put put the yeah. Th this is fine, I think. Um, I wonder if it would make us uh, understand this better. If Great. We, yeah. This is what I was expecting. They were going to rotate forty-five degrees. Awesome. Yes. 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 Thank you. Good explanation. Uh, uh, I wonder if we want to actually uh, write code to rotate the cube uh, so that we um, so that we see what's happening because right now it's just like these eight points are taunting us by being mm -hmm. in the wrong place mm -hmm. and we want to know what's going on, right? Um, so we've got some some folks in the chat who are really following the plot and uh, seem to have played around with this stuff before. Muaz is, yes. is, is talking about the camera position uh, being correct. And uh, Kente says, isn't the perspective coming from the one in Vector 31010? Yeah, which is both correct and what just clicked for me after uh, Philip's last demo and than that test. Roa had a comment earlier that is um, really ringing true right now after what you just said made that click as you're like holding your phone and tilting it. Yeah, you got to have graphics and whatnot to learn this kind of crazy math uh, so you can visualize what these numbers are doing. Um, all right. So what are you thinking for our next test? So I still don't understand why the perspective doesn't work. I thought that, uh, that that's oh right that's why the far and so which code did you think it was this whole the projection matrix right and the the frustrum matrix which is frustrating us <laughs> yes. uh, that's what was supposed to yeah yeah we call it a projection matrix that's right that's the code that is currently not working for us so i'm going to play around with a few more numbers so near this is the top is this basically like anything closer than this we can't see yeah so near is so, is if you if you like bump with your camera into something uh mm -hmm. and you no longer want to see that uh right, right? so that i don't think that's a, the a, the problem that we have because we literally see all the all the things that we want to see they're just not in the right. in perspective and I think that's but, what we're missing is perspective. So I have an interest. I, I want to like play with this a little bit too, to make, to yes. see if I understand this. So we positioned the camera. That was the first parameter. Uh, we positioned it. Okay. Go away tooltip in the center of the left, right space. And then 10 units away from that. So it's almost like our camera is 10 units off the top of the monitor. Right. And we're saying that the near point, so anything closer, we're 10 away and anything closer than point 0.1 gets cut off. So we, we definitely see everything. If I'm understanding this right, if we put 10 here, in theory, we would lose four of these squares and we would just see the, the other four that are on the other side of the matrix. Yeah. I would Is put 10.5, right? but yes, Be sure? I think so. Yeah, because okay. it could be uh, ju just on the, on the first right. term. So we, I'm running it, no change. <laughs> what? I, you, I, my suspicion grows that your theory of 
like this code just something ain't right uh is is potentially potentially correct um top times aspect ratio interesting so this kind of makes sense we calculate once we know one of them we can kind of deduce the other ones so it makes sense that all these values would only appear in the one calculation i think that makes sense but this this definitely busted my expectations i yeah. thought we were going to lose four of those points is it potentially and we're focusing on the middle of it i don't think this is going to change anything and it didn't all mm. right what what happens with zoom can you zoom in or zoom out actually mm, 0 okay. 0.5 yeah so everything should get half everything should get closer uh 0 0.5 should be right. smaller yes yep oh yeah oh, closer so to each works. other not closer to us oh yeah yes 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 all right yeah so that one is working and we already know field of view is working because we saw that aspect ratio will will i think work this will have some effect should stretch it stretched and so interestingly it's basically just this near value that well we don't know if it's doing nothing but this change didn't activate any let's try like well let's try a hundred that's thousand however many zeros i might type no change again so near is really not doing anything yeah it's weird it's weird but i i don't think that's necessarily uh you know what what's our problem to be honest well we can look at this later but right okay. now i wonder if we can just you know what uh we don't want to we, we don't need to to rotate the actual uh cube we can just rotate the camera around the cube i think okay. and uh, so that means that you have to go back to i think 3d view or view 3d Mm. And uh, we need to add a, well, uh, like, uh, what's the fastest way to add animation here? Can, can you do it quickly or is it is it a force? Right. No, I, I think we could do it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we can so, do it. So like you probably want to change this view 3D into a state full widget with a animation like a repeating animation. Yeah, so uh so extend state so with this is it, yeah. Yes. So we could have we can either use an animation controller or yes. we could just have an animated container and we'll, we'll just oh. have it do like one thing. Yep, yep. Sorry, I forgot about that. So you probably don't even need the stateful widget then, right? Well, potentially the animate we need to get a value out of the animated container, I guess. So actually I don't know if that would make any sense. Maybe right. we need our own an animation controller. Okay. Yes. Uh yes. <laughs> That's I like I like this role. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Now here comes the point where I have to Google this every single time. Oh no! So it's mm -hmm. extends with a single ticker container, a single tick ticker provider. Yes. Yes. Vsync this, and then Vsync, and then also uh, not Vsync. Uh, that's good. That's <laughs> that's that coming also. later. That's that's Flutter four point zero. <laughs> uh, yeah. But uh, I think you need to give it a duration. Yeah. The, and I think that's it. Okay. Uh, and, and now then, and start it. Just repeat. Control repeat. Uh oh, we we need a listener as well. Oh, that's right. right. Yes. Well, actually, no. Uh yeah. uh no, 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 no. Uh just controller dot repeat, I think, is how you start it. No? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay, and now uh, that's the cool part. Uh, the uh, if you go to the to the custom pain, pass it in here. 
Yes. Custom painter actually, no, no, actually the, the painter itself. Nope, oh. nope, 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 nope. The, wow. the painter itself, if you if you go to the yes, uh, and if you do on view 3D in the constructor, mm -hmm. there's actually if uh so, you know the super pro like custom painter itself, the class itself mm -hmm. has super dot listenable, I think, or something like this. Yep. Extends listenable. Oh, yeah. repaint, repaint. Yes. Uh, so you need to like you basically oh, do. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice, right? So, re or super repaint. Yep. Oh, you can just do super nice. repaint. Yeah. No. Then do I have to do? Wait, wait, why is it? Why does it not like us? No associate. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. And now it says this is never used. Okay, well, give us a second here, Linter. <laughs> so yeah, we're you working go up, on it. <laughs> you go up and just do repaint equals the controller. Controller. Oh, I've never done that before. Yeah, nice. this is really cool. And so now I think you probably have to restart. Hot restart. Whatever. But we didn't even tell this to like go from zero to one yet. Does it know to do that on its own? Yeah, uh, from zero to one is fine. Yes. Uh, so now we need to pass the value of the repaint uh, mm -hmm. to the project pr project. Sorry, <laughs> I, that's a terrible name for for that. So yeah, let's oh, it's do... the correct name. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so this was oh just repaint. Repaint. Yes. It, it's it, yeah. Um, so repaint dot value. I think. Oh, because it's the whole controller. Makes sense. Yes. Is so it that, an int? Maybe that's an int. Yeah. <laughs> We're that's, both like, oh. that's terrible. Uh, what? Why is it an int? All right. So we're going to add a double to the method yes. signature. So it stops complaining about that. And now we can come back and undefined name repaint. OK, what do you do with that value in the constructor? Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, okay, so you need to actually create. A, oh, it's underscore. Yeah, yeah and so you, you don't you don't have access to it, but you can. We can add a listener. True, Does but that it, you, we don't we don't need to do that. So so what you need to do is you create your own, um, like uh, you know, final field on View Three D Painter. That's something mm -hmm. like. Uh, Ideally, something that that is a better name. For example, uh, yeah, like How about that animation. All right, animation, and then uh, assign to that animation. Yep, it's not super. It's like this, and it's required. And then uh, in, in in the initializer list. Oh yes, thank you. In, so after like after the constructor, sorry, mm, up, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then uh, do like this. Yes. You mean? No, no, no. Uh, with the colon, you know. Oh, adding, I see. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and I then don't know what it's super. The, I mean, su oh, how do how do you do this? Su you want to set it to the repaint thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think how do you how do you do this? Like, uh, what's well, underscore? Called? We can't. No, but you can, I think you can, uh, man, you can um, kind of call the constructor of the super class. But still hold on to the value. Uh, you, you could just like, um, instead of dot, if you put a, a par parenthesis, is it possible? But super parenthesis. Oh. And then repaint. Oh. I've... And then animate. Oh! <laughs> See? Yeah. All right. I'm glad that the, this worked because I was very unsure. All right. You know, the that's that's funny. The advent of the super parameters means I haven't actually explicitly called a super constructor in so long. I literally yeah. forgot it was a thing. <laughs> yep, it, it is a thing. <laughs> so uh, the return right. of super. So all right. So now we have animation and that has a value. It does. And Actually, so no, we can... you, you have it as a listenable. So uh, I think. Does it I need think to be animation? animation? I think it needs to be animation of double. Yes. Okay. And now. 
No, that's all good. And but we have a complaint up top, which is what are you mad about? <laughs> no, oh, it's late. It's yeah. final late final, I think. Indeed. Yep. All right. Okay. And now project. Right. So this has to use its new parameter. And how, yes. what should we call this to be better than value? Uh rotation. That's much better. And now let's do some trigonometry. I, I think what we do want to do now is instead of the the make view in the make view matrix call, uh the mm. vector of where the camera is should be mm. zero zero sine rotation or zero okay. cosine rotation sine rotation. Zero cosine rotation oh it's math dot i think yeah set myself up for that headache <laughs> and then <laughs> math dot sign rotation yeah yeah and probably times pi but we don't care about this now let's let's, let's see what it, <laughs> <laughs> let's see what it does <laughs> okay refresh no hmm okay uh Times ten. Oh wait, something just. Uh, I don't know if it was on the oh, visible yeah. on the screen. Times ten. Times times ten. Uh, uh, for both of those, or just the last one? Uh, for, for both, I think. You can actually times ten with the the whole thing, but it's doesn't matter. Okay. Oh so right. No, well, we will do that because okay. zero times ten isn't going to complain. They 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 just flew all over the place. Oh, I'm going to oh. extend the duration. So they're more visible for everyone. Uh, duration, where are you? Here we go. Minutes. So now wow. it's going to move real slow. What? Wow. Or not at all. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. I love it. Okay. So uh, I don't see any perspective. I don't days wow it's still not slowing down so okay what i think is happening is it's just buzzing by at like no i think there, crazy some, speeds yeah. or it's something is something is weird with our uh with yeah, our we have a bug so uh, go 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 back uh, please go back to <laughs> two seconds because i'm uh okay. i'm a little worried about that uh days thing there and okay. Uh, let's go back to here. Why is this? Oh, it's an interesting idea. Is something uh, in degrees, but not radians. Oh, yeah, but it's it's from zero to one, right? So I mean, in in radian, if it was in degrees, okay. You know what? Uh, put the zero in the vector somewhere else than it is now. Like for to the yeah. Let's see if that changes anything. This is really scientific. <laughs> yes. It did change something. There's what? nothing on the screen now. <laughs> uh, put the zero somewhere else now. Yeah. To, to okay. Last one. Yeah. Okay. Let's just do it. Let's just try different Let's things. Let's just get crazy. Let's just, who, yeah, who knows, right? Let's just try it. Uh, it didn't do anything. Still nothing. Ren rendered to right. nothing. Damn it. All right. Okay. So time to time to do something. Uh, <laughs> GPD in hell. Uh, so an another thing is just to like. Okay. So we had zero zero minus ten or ten. For which thing? This For, value originally. Yeah. Originally. It was zero zero ten. Okay. So let's just do zero zero ten for now, and <laughs> okay. let's uh, let's let's not use the rotation for now. Yes. And I, I think you need uh, commas, yes. Okay. You know, I won't be cute here because then this might get us later. Okay. Okay. And we still don't see anything? That's weird. Oh, oh, sorry. What? We see things. What? Move it in the right direction. No, but what? Why is it? <laughs> it's, it's the same thing. Why is it? What? This so it makes it's zero sense. I we we are not. It's a constant function, right? 
Wait, wait, yeah, we're not using rotation anymore. Yeah, exactly. Nothing and now is changing. <laughs> and now it's just uh, so. Oh. Okay, so one one thing that that uh, is, uh, I actually actually this is a great thing to to talk about because one thing that uh, throws people, including me, off is that including me, yes, is that in Flutter everything is um, uh, like declarative and immutable, right? Here things are mutable, so if you change something. It's going to keep changing for for other things as well. I'm pretty sure since we're like normally this should be a pure function, right? We're just like putting a point. You're even, yeah, exactly. Pass so, one. <laughs> yes. So so we are changing something uh, like on accident. Some, yes, we're mutating something somewhere, and that's not good. So I don't know what that would be, but man, no, it's it needs to be in the project yeah, method it has to be right. But what this, are we? This changing? is a pure function. Oh, I know. I see it now. I see. You it. do. We are applying the matrix to the point, man. We're applying the matrix. So we're changing the object. Oh, oh, oh my oh. God. Ah. Yes, why exactly. Why is this not, why is copy <laughs> not a thing? Um, there's oh, clone, probably, probably. Clone, yes. Yeah. Oh, uh, and, uh, 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 wait, wait, wait. So, and now you have to, like, you're not, you're not actually using that now. You're cloning it, applying the matrix uh, to the clone, yeah. but you're not, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, and uh, you probably need something there with like uh, parents because your dot clone, dot, dot, dot apply, dot, dot apply matrix, I think. No, 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 no. Wait, sorry, I was expecting this. Okay, so. No. Oh. I'm going to go full screen here again. No, yes, thank you. No, you know what you're doing? It's like new point. You need new point dot clone dot dot apply matrix four. And you don't need that thing in the, uh, you know, because you are, uh, you are like apply matrix four probably just returns void. So new point yep, doesn't know. You're totally right. You're yeah. totally right. Okay. So let's see now. I, I'm I'm feeling good about this. Cool. Okay, so now we're oh, back in. Uh, I, th I think it said we have an error. Wow. Uh, is that no, alt? Error. Yeah, maybe. But That's it didn't. Fine. No, it still says try again after fixing the above error. It, it's just I'm going to do a full thing. It's like real confused here. Yes, yes. Yeah, so chocolate image says I think apply metrics four doesn't return anything exactly. So that was the problem. Mm. We had a null thing there. And the cascade operator, we don't need to actually use it. It's kind of a fancy thing. We could just do new point point dot clone and then new point dot apply matrix would probably be a little bit more uh really. Why is the editor not showing I didn't save the file? I'm sorry. Oh. Sorry. All right. What change do we want to make here? Sorry. So point dot clone gives us a new point, and then we're cascading to yeah. apply. It's it's fine. It's fine. I just like for more readability. I would personally probably remove the um, the cascade and just do new point dot apply matrix four on a on a second uh, line. Just you know. Yes. Four. One of my least favorite things about um, StreamYard, though I, I don't know how they would fix it, is like so often I'll try to click on a chat message right as a new one comes in, and then I click on the one that was below it 100 milliseconds ago. I meant to click on Chocolate Images thing that was the line you were trying to read, and yes, I clicked on yes. a different message. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, people, are, people are actually, save it. Save the project file. Oh, <laughs> I remember. <laughs> People are screaming at their monitors like, "What?" <laughs> I know, I know, <sighs> folks. Like, just, just like, uh, 
I I see your frustration. <laughs> I, I, we can see the frustration, and I know how painful it is to see someone like fail so hard. Uh, but also, I've I've been there many times where I just did like some stupid things for thirty minutes, and people were like oh, yeah. screaming. Anyway, oh uh, gosh, yes, yeah. Let, let's see, let's see where we are now. Oh, cool, 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 cool. So. I think now we can reintroduce our animation, which should be pretty easy. Uh, so be. just like, yep. And uh, are you actually putting it in as in the uh, when you're calling project? Yeah, I put it back in. You uh, are. Uh, here we go. Oh, nice. All right. So are we ready? Oh. oh! Okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, line 65 times two pi. So animation dot value times math. Yes. Times math dot pi times two. Or maybe not. Uh, I actually, yes, sorry. I thought I'm already importing math there, but maybe not. All right. Uh, man, I'm not used to this big of font and only half my screen. Yeah. Um, okay. So we're just basically saying like go uh, all 360 degrees, right? Yep. Wow. That so I still a, that is a thing. Yeah. It's rotating. <laughs> uh, I wonder why we still don't see a lot of like perspective, but. Uh, I know it's beautiful, Bertie. I know. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, actually. <laughs> yeah, so, this is high quality graphics. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we could, we could just call it a day, to be honest. But I think uh, I would like to see more perspective somehow. Yeah. And also, we could try another object. But I'm not sure... Uh, Ooh, you want to try it? Let's try an actual pyramid. That'd be fun. Yeah. So we got to go to where the points are defined, which was in Maine, right? I think so. Or maybe Let's do a pyramid with the top cut off. So you've got this would be the correct base, and then we just need to bring these points in, right? Yes. Yes. So just put. Uh, I think it would be something like zero point five, zero point five one or something instead of the four points at the top we need to oh yeah for i'm trying to visualize actually what what's even what here so uh x was left right y is oh uh, that's right yes 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 so you you actually want the the base of the pyramid to be at the base which makes sense right so that would be uh that that's basically I'm thinking the bottom four points would be the base. Yes. And I'm gonna I want to reorganize. I'm gonna reorder these so that so those if, ones if are the y, base. Why uh, is up? So therefore, I think uh, yeah. Put all the y's together. Where uh, you want the put, don't we want the ones where z is zero? Right. These, this, these are now the bottom, right? Okay. I thought that for us y was you know, z is up. depth. You're right. Yeah, I think so. So put together the ones that are where y is zero and then yes. just yeah. uh, comment out the rest and put and instead of there. Yep. And now. If... Oh, not what we okay. expected. <laughs> yeah, but that's fine. I mean, I mean, we're I, I'm not even sure how we are rotating the uh, the camera, to be honest. Oh, no one is. No one is. Yeah. Yes. No one knows. <laughs> But uh, okay, yeah, I kind of want to um, create a like a ball in space, but uh, that's probably more more work. Well, do you if you know how to do it? Uh, I'm certainly open to it. Right, I I would just go like like create a, a small dart function that just outputs a lot. I mean, no, let's not do it. That's that's gonna be too much. Um, yeah, I think this is this is fine. I just want to play around with. Oh yeah, 
Okay, this so this is not what I was expecting. So X is okay. up is top down. Maybe because of our camera rotation? Maybe. Anyway, that's fine. Just put put a put a little top uh thing there. You know? All right, so, so we want these are all going to be higher. So is Oh, what what are you trying to do? I'm I'm I thought like we would just have a pyramid with one point, but you probably think uh like with Oh, we could do just one. Well, one point where we won't see anything. Yeah. Right? True. Just <laughs> uh well, actually let's confirm that because we've been wrong about a lot of things. <laughs> so this would be 0. 0.5 I oh, think yeah, it would, be, would one, be one and then 0 0.5. 0 0.5, 0 0.5, I yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Wonderful. Yep. Ah, oh, gosh. Never in doubt. Never <laughs> in doubt. <laughs> uh, so now if we want four points, they would all have this same height. And then we could go uh, like 0.4. Would we just go kind of 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and 0.6.6? Yeah, I have no idea what you're doing. that make I'm, any I'm, sense? I'm, no. It doesn't. Ah. Oh, nice. Check me out. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Uh, we got a pyramid here. Now, how else could we move this? So, uh, Craig, some some people are getting motion sickness. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure oh. this is just just fun. But I would, uh, if I were you, I would change the second one to something like second ten. Uh, uh you know, the animation speed. Okay. I don't or remember whatever that is. Speed. Yeah, <laughs> me neither. Go. Yeah, and yeah, there nice. we go. Okay. <sighs> nice, right? That's satisfying. Yeah. Anyway, so do you want to see if we can? Hmm. I still don't understand why we don't see any, uh, you know, uh, perspective. I mean, we we mm. probably do. If yeah, we... I feel like we are seeing perspective. Why we didn't before the animation, I also don't know. But I mean. We're... Wait, are we? No, we're not. I no, you're right. We're not. Yeah, I don't think we do. Because the the points should never both be over each other. Like there's a yeah. right now, right? Or right now at the top. Yeah. Both of them line up. But yeah, when they should be like this. centered, the back one should be yeah, centered. Yeah, I should like this. Yes, yes, yes. I, I don't know why. Uh, so one thing that I um, see, I don't see it actually used in the in the code that I've seen and the code that I'm using. So I don't know why. But uh, apart from make view matrix, there's also a make perspective matrix. Oh. Uh, so, and again, I think we could te theoretically just check it out, check it out or um, even uh, multiply it with what we already have. <laughs> what? That's so funny and just a billion percent true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, that's incredible. All right. What are you thinking about the uh, perspective matrix? Um, so just like uh, do another instead of view or next to the view matrix, create a perspective matrix. So final okay. perspective matrix. And uh, equals make perspective, yes. And now, uh, oh boy. So, uh, FOV Y radiance, we actually know how to do. So, that's the field oh, we of do. view. Yeah, we, we, we already have it. Oh. Uh, yeah, see. we just that yeah. value to radians. Yes. So, radians conversion, just radians. Just radians. So, radians 60 or whatever. Or, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you're up. 
Yeah. Oh, good point. God bless it. I guess we'll put it all the way to the bottom. Yep. Okay. Uh, Z near. This looks like it's maybe near. Yeah, just near and, and far. far. And now I don't know if this goes instead of or all. Like, try to. Yeah. Yep. Let's see. <laughs> exactly. Just exactly. Like, oh. Okay. <laughs> Unexpected. Wait, no, expected, because we just removed where we're using the rotation. Ah, da, 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 da. yes, makes sense. So instead of, should we put rotation? Should we put the rotation into one of these? Oh no 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 no. So so uh, in uh, line forty two, focus focus yep. right. Yep. Uh, line forty two. I think you want either both of them or instead of projection matrix, do the perspective matrix. Yep, and now try it. Is it better? No, nope. oh, it's not. No change. Uh, no, which change. is a real surprise, or at least no change that I can work out. Yeah. Yeah. Now, your the other thought was that we might need all three, but all order three. matters. So it does. What order yes. would we? We I don't know. I have no idea. I've never There's like. Yep. Yeah. Only so many possibilities. Yes. Okay, this one does nothing. Uh huh. This one does nothing. Mm -hmm. And this one breaks everything. Oh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> We're inventing new, <laughs> new 3D, uh, you know, ways to, to, to look at. Whoa, it's like a carousal. Like, hello. Yeah. <laughs> but when it comes back the other way, we only see, I wonder, gosh, I want to know where the top four are. Oh, I think they're just clipped off the top. Uh -huh. Yeah, maybe. I think they're just clipped off the top. So how would but we I, do I can see a, like a little bit of, do you also see kind of almost like a perspective there? Or is it just my imagination? No, I think you might be right. I want to see the top ones when they come back. So we've got, we just worked out that X for some reason is top down. Actually, I have no idea which of these is going to do it, but um, so no, no, which no, of these the, uh, lowers oh, the whole okay, thing. Okay. So I, I think we're like, this is like literally broken. I, I don't think this is what it should work out and uh, no amount of tweaking will make it, uh, we'll make it correct. Work. But uh, I think um i think some of it maybe it's just that we're looking at such a small thing with such i don't know i have no idea Roa it's, thinks I, there's perspective yes there is yeah but i think it's like inverse perspective so it's not good inverse perspective what does that mean <laughs> i mean like it's it looks like to me that wait Wait, I screwed this up. Now that I'm full screen here, I can see I've I've got projection after view. That was never it. Okay. Yep. I copied the wrong one. We wanted to try this order. And <laughs> if you restart, then oh. we get weirdness. Kind of the same thing. Yes. <laughs> definitely very similar so yeah. this was adding projection in the f no we added perspective at the end that's what we did yeah i think uh like we 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 are using two things and both of them has fov and near and far so i'm pretty sure only mm, one of them they're is just trampling over each yeah, other yeah uh so maybe i don't know how do how do we hey 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 isn't it if you look at the base, doesn't it look like? No. No, really? Mm -hmm. no. They're moved. Okay. So we're going to add, uh, I'm going to, because it's easier for me to see than anyone else, because I'm, I get all the frames per second. Right. Uh, so we're going to add, what's the easiest way to do this? In view 3D. I'm going to add, where's our stateful widget? U. 
are this nope one day i'll find the stateful widget the code's too big here we are great let's add a uh wrap in widget gesture detector on tap and this is going to be a stop animation and stop animation is going to do controller dot stop. There we go. Ah, oh, clever. And now I have to put focus on the window and then I'll tap when they're right up. No, didn't work. <laughs> tap. Oh, mm, no, I shouldn't have to call set state. What am I doing? <laughs> Why isn't this working? No, 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 no. Uh, that should work. Uh, where's the gesture? Oh yeah, it's around the whole. Oh, you know, you know what? You're uh, you should probably call the stop animation. You're only God returning it. it. You're yep. right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, focus on the thing. Oh no, it stopped already. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it took a second, <laughs> but uh, I think we can see that they're all kind of equidistant. Yeah, yeah. Here. All right. So my next, next, my next uh, thing to try is uh, have a look back to project. Yep, yep. yep. Everyone was correct yep. except for crack. <laughs> Gosh, that's <laughs> story of my life. <laughs> yeah, I mean, mine too. All right. So, um, so I think uh, I think you tweaked the uh, frustrum a little bit, and I I wonder if, for example, the far, if you can just put instead of oh, it's one thousand. That's not so bad. Uh, was there something that we? Yeah, the, the, you were right. Uh, near the only thing we've changed fine. actually is near. Originally yeah. it was this, but it should be the same. Yeah, it should be the same. Aspect ratio. By the way, aspect ratio we we could still fix, but uh, I think that's not what what's our right. problem. No. Um, let's do. Uh, can you just make FOV something like one hundred twenty degrees? I think that's. Mad about something. Okay, all the files are saved. Oh no, we do have some red here. What did I, what did I do? Command Z. What did I do? Oh, uh, near. There? You made near into an oh. int. Yeah, zero point five zero. I think it's yeah, or whatever. Yes. All right. So same, same. Same. Uh, here we can see the lack of perspective taunting us mm -hmm. damn i have no idea yeah i don't i don't think i know it. well no i know i don't know <laughs> i'm quite certain that i have no idea <laughs> uh we're not oh yeah we're not wait perspective matrix we're not using it that's good um yeah because using it did absolutely nothing absolutely nothing same same again yeah oh my uh there we go apparently i just can't click good does anyone in the chat have ideas on how to fix this because we're at we're pretty desperate yes <laughs> <laughs> did you transform the camera I don't know what that means. In a way, yes, it's rotating. We transformed its position. That's the first parameter here. Is there anything else you think they might have meant, Philip? Mm. Oh, do you want to put it closer? Like we're 10 units. Uh, I'm st I still think maybe there's some perspective there. So instead of 10, vector 3 times 10, put it like 5 or maybe, yeah, 2. Yeah. Uh, we're really close to the what? Yeah, nothing. No, it's different. Is it? It's tilting. That or I, yeah, it's it is tilting. So like now it's kind of flat, and now it's almost tilting down a little bit, and now it's getting a little more flat, right? Because the the dots are clipping each other on the top. 
And then in a second, now they're not clipping each other on the top. Oh, yeah. Base as well, for sure. Uh, just a little more obvious to me on the top, but I'm sure they're doing the same thing. Wow. So that interesting. So now, this is would be when, 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 if we didn't have just dots, but instead have faces, we would probably know what's right. You know, because right now, like, I'm not even sure if we're looking from a little bit below or from a little bit above. Oh yeah. And, and Chad is, keep, it keeps being like, connect the dots. But I, uh, feel yeah. like we are out of time for that. For that. Yes. But, uh, by the way, the code is in GitHub and anyone is, uh, very much it's public. So everyone is very no, much really invited sure to uh, prove us terrible. <laughs> Actually, that <laughs> like, would be amazing. Anyone who uh, I'm, I'm going to add the, the GitHub link to this. I'll show it to everyone. Um, I would love to be tagged on Twitter with the change that makes this do what we want. Uh, I need to make a banner, I think, for this. There we go. Paste in the value, add the banner. All right, so this is where Philip put the starter code. Oh, I should commit the changes that we've made today, huh? Mm -hmm. That would probably be helpful for everyone. Um, mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to make things smaller. I, I don't even know how to. It's hard to look at this. All right, I'll just commit everything. And Philip painstakingly telling me <laughs> what to type. Oh, yeah. Uh, you just, yeah, okay. Avoiding oh, the blame, I, was, I uh... see. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that I went through that uh, with, the, with not even sharing my screen, but yeah, that was it. That's our commit message. So I'll even just kind of load that up myself and bring it in. Uh, did that commit go through? Uh, there was three commits before. There's still only three commits. Did it? Oh, fill up. Oh, <laughs> you didn't fork it. Okay, I'll give it. I'll give you since it's you and. Uh... Okay, I'll give you access to my repo, FLIP. <laughs> What's it called? Observable Flutter Cube. Flutter Cube, yeah. And then uh, collaborators. Ugh. Two factor authentication. Sorry, people. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so. I understand that, like, Hackers is honestly just ruin everything. I understand that they're <laughs> going to steal our identity and like buy themselves trips to Cancun on our credit cards and everything. I just freaking hate how often I am logged out of everything. <laughs> oh my God. I am so tired of it. Yep. Yep. Me too. Uh, Craig, what's your username? Or you can just send it if it's uh it's just my name craig lebens i have a real deep cover alias uh that yes that's you name. and you are invited sir brilliant uh, all right uh, i'll give you the link oh i'm probably gonna have to do the same headache to accept the invite <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> You'll have to call with your passports to some someone, and they'll be like, "Are you sure you're Craig?" <laughs> dental records. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I just accepted. So now I'm gonna push this commit again. Get push. Um, there we are. All right. So if I refresh here, we will see. We still don't see. We it. yeah. We we don't see your. Uh, I. I guess yes. Yeah, I got yes. rid of it because I thought I might have to two-factor or something. Yeah, true, 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 true. But there we are. Okay, so today's chicken scratches are available for y'all to uh, dissect and fix because they're kind of broken. But man, <laughs> Philip, thank you for two hours of your time. Gosh, I had a blast today. That was 
very fun. I still don't know any linear algebra, but <laughs> me neither. But but yeah, it's, I'm really like uh, looking forward to do it one one time again uh, because this was fun. I think people in the comments also had fun. Uh, hi everyone, by the way. I, I see your comments. <laughs> uh, I can say hi to everyone there. But but uh, it's fantastic. It's it's great to, to once in a while pop back and just you know uh, fail in real time while being watched by people uh i know you invented uh, failing in real time uh, <laughs> yeah. that was thank your you, thank you. <laughs> uh, this will be on my tombstone <laughs> <laughs> inventor of <laughs> failure <laughs> oh man okay yeah gosh well needless to say you know you've got you've got a kid this is in the evening for you so i don't want to be presumptuous about your time but you hit me up anytime you want to come here and not know what we're doing while people are watching uh i had a blast you too cool standing invite uh okay folks um man this was incredible i think i'm off next week because i have my first improv show in the evening and uh, so I just need to be in the office and so I'm not going to stream in the morning, blah, blah, blah. Are you uh, doing improv? Like, is that uh, like you're actually doing? Yeah, improv yeah, yeah. Theater? Nice. Yeah, it's wow. uh, it's a it's a Flutter DevRel tradition. There's always got to be at least one improviser yeah. on the team. True. And when yeah. Emily left, uh, the you know, the torch went a little cold. But um, yeah, anyway, so next week off and then we'll be back. And then there's the American holiday Thanksgiving that's on a Thursday for some reason. So I'll definitely be off that day. Uh, and then we'll, we'll finish the year strong. So I don't know how many weeks we got left and whatnot. Um, but off next week, then back Philip, this was amazing. Any closing thoughts on your end? I think we did a fantastic job. I think we need uh, two or three more comments and unreal is, is shaking in fear. Uh, unreal mm -hmm. unity. Uh, you're, you're going down. This is, you know, we're, we're going to figure out the projection matrix <laughs> at some point. <laughs> and, then, and, and then it's over for you. Okay. We're so close. I'm yes. so close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, that's incredibly funny. Uh, okay. Have a good one, everybody. See ya.